human mobility has fundamentally altered the makeup and character of the biological world. Globalization has created a growing threat, a threat that is having a devastating environmental, social and economic impact and is overwhelming a continent. This threat is from invasive alien species. CABI, a not-for-profit intergovernmental organization, strives to contribute to biodiversity conservation and improved livelihoods by developing best management practices for tackling invasive alien species. So many people, most people actually for that matter, in developing countries are dependent on the natural resource base for the survival. So people in rural communities, for example, in Africa, would use indigenous or native species for building materials, for grazing, for medicinal plants, etc., etc. What happens is when invasive species come into the system, they basically erode those natural resources, that biodiversity that so many other people are dependent on. Deserts, forests, grasslands and aquatic environments are all impacted by a range of invasive species. In this film, we look at four invasive plants that are having a devastating impact on the livelihoods of communities in East Africa. Opuntia, Prosopis, Parthenium and Chromolina. This used to be a very, very beautiful environment before Opuntia colonized our grazing fields. So currently we are having this as a major problem since it has begun claiming livestock, claiming land and forcing us to move from our homes. The problem with the Opuntia is when the animals feed on the fruits. A lot of thorns get deposited in the mouth, throughout the stomach and eventually they die. No grass at all is growing under the Matenge. Since no grass is growing at all, the animals are feeding on the Matenge leaves and even the seeds, and the animals are getting thin and thinner, and they keep on dying. The thorns of the Matenge are very poison. Matenge thorns bite the people, the leg getting sick, and the leg can even be cut, or even the person will get disability forever. This Matenga have really changed the way of life of these people because a long time they used to keep animals and now all those animals are nowhere to be seen. It's bringing quite a lot of problems to the community. A lot of farmers are weeding more oftenly than they used to do before. When you've planted, for example, potatoes, you have to weed three times and previously we used to weed one or twice. Then there is no livestock consuming this plant and it's colonizing and taking large tracts of land over a short period of time. It is a major problem to us. What the weed has done to livestock is that it has competed with most of the vegetation that animals feed in and suppressed the density of pasture significantly. In the beginning we had a lot of livestock, but with time the number has declined because the cattle have been dying. Cromolina affects families and the community generally in that it has spread so much that most areas where people try to plant any other crop find Cromolina establishes faster and then crops find it very hard to grow. So it makes the land not so useful in crop production. In the beginning, the maize used to be healthy, the soils were fertile, but now with time, the soil fertility has gone down and the yields have declined. Despite the fact that a host of invasive alien plants are abundant and widespread on the African continent, if we act now and we develop and implement effective management strategies, including biological control, we can make a difference.
Our life depends on animals only, goats, sheep, and cattle. That's all. If they get finished, we also get finished.